So today I have a very old age question about git preparation how to write notes I got many requests for this particular video So I have talked to many students if you try to write the notes parallelly the problem is that when does creating short notes and very short notes come into play like we have to do it simultaneously with thorough notes course duration itself will increase if the faculty is it okay if we just get the printed notes of some other toppers if it's easily accessible yeah so if you can get the toppers notes that is fine but then the problem is do we want to break this myth or do you have any comment on this so first of all i never suggest students to not just for git aspirants even for uh, any other competitive exam the offline era is over hello sir hi So today I have a very old age question about git preparation huh? that every student has battled with how to write notes very good so this is a very uh, important question not just for git git aspirants even for uh, any other competitive exam or even btech exams also git is very important i got many requests for this particular video and so i am doing this after lot of research so i have talked to many students understood the process and in fact what i have done is i myself i have taken a online course for a subject which i don't know and i tried to write down the notes then i understood certain things that have to be followed first thing is guys the offline era is over i am from offline era which means we used to go to call uh, coaching centers offline now there faculty used to write something on the board and then give some gap for us to write down the notes but now in this online era the faculty and the the faculty cannot give the time to write down the notes because he doesn't know how long it is or he doesn't know how long it is going for them to take the notes or the course duration itself will increase if the faculty gives the uh, time to write notes that is why they will continuously be teaching now the problem is especially with live classes when the class is going on if you try to write the notes parallelly the problem is that your brain will not be able to do that processing one thing is it has to understand what the faculty is saying and the second thing is it has to uh uh write, write the notes focus on writing the notes which these two cannot you cannot do that in live classes at least in recorded classes you have a benefit that after finishing 10 minutes you can pause the video and you can write whatever it is but coming to live classes don't write the notes while the class is going on you have to separately watch the uh video at 2x speed and you should write the notes okay and the second point is whenever you are writing notes always maintain time stamp for each topic sometimes you would like to go back and refer to a topic and you don't know where is that topic in the entire course that is why if you if you say that it is lecture number 20 time stamp is uh, 10 minute 50 seconds then you can directly go there if you have any doubt so sir i have this question that in all this writing notes where does P- writing pyqs in notes come into place like how should they write pyqs in their notes see sometimes pyqs will be very big that writing all these pyqs will be a challenging task okay my suggestion would be don't write pyqs if they are too big just wherever you are referring them from either from a website or from some videos or some book you just write that reference like this page this this book them this book this page this is the question and you just try, try to have the answer so that next time when you are referring it you can directly open that book in most of the cases revising pyqs is not required you generally revise the uh, concepts concept generally you don't revise the pyqs right okay. so don't write them have a reference to them and have the solution one or two times if you revise that is going to be sufficient okay and that is why what you can do is after every topic leave some space for uh especially uh for pyqs and sometimes you also come across good points from t- t- test series 
For example, in our test series, we have very good questions. You may learn something from this test series. Therefore, from test series or from PYQs, whenever you learn anything new, there should be space to write it in the book. That is why you should have some space after every topic. Leave one or two pages. Okay. Okay, sir. So you you make us and made us understand the process quite easily and how to create notes. But sir, like, is it worth to worth the hassle? Like, should is it okay if we just get the printed notes of some other toppers if it's easily accessible? Yeah. So if you can get the toppers notes, that is fine. But then the problem is that notes will be according to what he feels is important about the class. Mm. See, for the same concept, there may be 100 ways of writing the notes. Now, which way you like, that depends on you. Therefore, I feel that if you don't have time at all, then go for the notes of others. But if you have time, write it, write your own notes so that you are the one who knows exactly what is the concept to be covered or how to write the concept or how you will understand the concept in your own words. Therefore, writing your own notes is the best way to do. If you don't have time, go for others' notes and uh, we can finish your preparation. Okay, sir. So, so we discussed about the thorough notes, how we have to create notes in the first, first iteration. When does creating short notes and very short notes come into play? Like we have to do it simultaneously with short no with thorough notes? No, no. So first time you are watching the video, don't write anything. Second time when you are watching the video, prepare the notes. Third time when you are referring the uh, actual notes, then you prepare a short notes. Now what is short notes? Short notes is just for every page of your book, there will be one or two or three lines. Maximum three lines will be there for the entire page of your book. So short notes will be very short that you can revise it within 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes, which means let us assume that you are traveling in a bus. Then these short notes will be very helpful for revision. You can revise the entire short notes or two, three subjects short notes in just a half an hour or one hour. Therefore, maintain short notes that will definitely going to be helpful. So, sir, if a student is starting from like quite early, let's say second year, and mm -hmm. they are thinking that they should refer standard books for it, mm -hmm. CLRS for DS and ev every book. So, while preparing for that, how should they try to write notes? Because, you know, this is theory, everything. So, they, they, it's quite difficult for them to understand what is important and what's not. So, first of all, I never suggest students to read the textbooks because it is time taking and you, you cannot cover all the books. Mm. But if you are preparing from second year onwards, you will have a lot of time and you can actually uh, focus on textbooks also, right? So my suggestion always would be to minimize the writing time. Whenever you are reading from a textbook, it would be really easy if you are just underlining the pages in the textbook. Just underline the words or the lines that are important. And re while revising, you can quickly revise what are the points should be added. But if you have more time, then you can write those underlined lines also in your book. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So, sir, when a student is like making notes and he's a fresher, he tried to make the first note like perfect and exceptional. Like he doesn't want to change anything. Do you want to break this myth or do you have any comment on this? So yeah, when you are writing the notes, you can write it using your own handwriting and using different colors. But then writing everything in the book will make it a transcript. It will make it transcript mm. of the video, right? So don't write everything that you listen to in the video. Just write only the most important points, right? That That's it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So guys, if you are preparing for gate, you can join in our WhatsApp group. The link is in the description. We share a lot of information in that. We clear your doubts in the, in the WhatsApp group and it is worth joining it. It is free. Thank you.